Barghani, Salam, Islam, Hatep, Gina Lakonani, Chief Noble Bandele Elamin, once again for another video. Um, we'll be discussing the Moorish flag or the Moorish flags and the time frames in which they were used. You know, understand that Moorish flags um, have been around longer than the flag that we're used to seeing with the red background and the green star. That's the most important ones that we've been used to seeing. However, there are several different flags that have been used in Morocco alone. But uh, we'll also be looking at flags maybe from Mauritania, Morocco, um, you know, North African flag, but predominantly Morocco's flag. This is the Almoravid dynasty from 987 to 1147. The Almoravids was a Berber dynasty from the Sahara, occupying Niger and also Senegal. This is not a flag, but a banner. As you see, the six points on the flower is also symbolic of the seal of Solomon on the other Moorish flag. Moors expanded their territories under this dynasty more than any other dynasty. This checkered flag belongs to the al Mahad dynasty, which reigned from 1147 to 1269. They are the successors to the Almoravids dynasty. They are also known as Berbers, and this was founded by a Berber tribal confederation. This has been also known as the first real flag of Morocco. This is one of the flags from the Outer White Dynasty from 1666 roughly to 1915. Uh, the red background represents bravery, strength, and courage. The Outer White Dynasty is also the current dynasty of the Moroccan Royal Empire. This is the largest dynasty in Moroccan history. This is the eight-pointed star used by the Saidi dynasty from 1554 to 1659. The flag is also a war flag used by the Marinid as well. This eight-pointed star represents the four corners of space and has also been used as the symbol for the sun. And yes, this is the current flag of Morocco and this is also the national Moorish flag. It is generally accepted as Moorish national flag. It was adopted by Morocco in 1915. However, the flag was not truly accepted and adopted until 1956. This is the Jewish flag of Morocco, the seal of Solomon. Morocco Jews exceeded 250,000 before 1940. This flag was used before the Nazi era and it was used before the present day five-pointed star. This flag represents a time when Moors and Jews had a much better relationship than they do today. This is a picture of Muhammad Ali's funeral where you can see a Moroccan Moorish flag 
being thrown on top of his hearse, showing you a relationship between Muhammad Ali, Moors, and Muslim. This is called a Moorish flag. I found this flag uh, looking around and it seemed to be a generic or general flag for Moors that were across North Africa. As you can see, it has the red background that we're familiar with, but it also has the green at the top of it, which symbolizes to me the forerunning of the green star, which you will see a little later in time. This is called the scissors flag. It was used from the 17th to the 19th century by the Allah White Dynasty. These scissors are really swords that are represented of a sword given to Ali from the Prophet Muhammad. The name scissors was given to it by Europeans. This is the current Mauritanian flag, adopted in 1959. The colors are green and gold for Pan-African colors. Green also represents Islam, and the gold represents the sands of the deserts. Mauritania used to be the name of Africa. And this is the Berber flag. This flag has the symbol of the Yaz, which means free man, and the red symbolizing the life and harmony. This flag was created in 1998 to unify all Berbers around the globe. Berbers are the indigenous inhabitants of North Africa. Also, when we look at flags, we also understand flags give jurisdiction, meaning that when you see a flag flying in the in the uh, on a pole, that distinguishes what that is, what um, area the flag is covering. So it can be something as simple as a corporation. You can go by, uh, let's say, or Google. We can look at Google. Uh, Google Corporation will have a United States flag, may have the flag of the state in which the company is residing in. Uh, we know Google's in California, so they'll have the California Republic flag fly. And then they'll have a corporate flag fly. So understand that the flags are important to determine a person's jurisdiction. It also is important in marking territory, whether it be a corporation or if it's on a boat. And to end the flags, we end it with the flag that represents the Moors Temple of New Kemet. Our flag with the red, black, and green representing the Pan-Africanist views with the green star uniting the Moorish and Moroccan enterprise together to show a unified body of melanated people. And these are the flags of Morocco. As you look, there were a few that were not discussed. However, I felt importance to display all the flags so that there can be further research. As you can see, there is a long history of Moorish flags 
from different places and different sizes. I hope you enjoyed this video.